Good morning everyone, this is Gail from Ladyfinger Sewing Center in beautiful Ole, Pennsylvania. I have a large shipment that came in of Robert Kaufman Batiks. This is an absolutely fabulous group of greens, golds, russet, brown, and beige. I think you're just going to love it. It screams fall, but it could be used for any time of the year. And uh, this particular piece I'm holding in my hand is called Celebrate Fall, and the color is Forest. Now these are all done in the Lund Studios in Bali, and um, the quality of the Robert Coffin Boutiques is superb, and um, just the way they're done is, is just they're a joy to use. This particular piece is called Autumn Trails. It's in a gorgeous shade of evergreen, and you can see the evergreen boughs um, on, on, the, on the chop that they use. Next we have winter green in the color is called meadow. So a really pretty, pretty green that has lots of movement in it. The next one is called celebrate fall and this color is moss. It's nice and earthy. It has pumpkins on it, but when you chop this up, you may or may not realize that. The next one, another great shade of green with some gold in it. This one is called winter green, and the color is moss. And these are little baby branches speckled all about. Really nice texture. The next green is a green olive batik. This one is Celebrate Fall. The color is olive. Really nice leaves and you get a little bit of uh, umber in there as well as different shades of green. Really nice. Next we have Celebrate Fall and the color is yarrow. So this is a nice olivey bright green with bits of orange and it looks like it is also, it's a sunflower and a pumpkin chop in there. Then we have Autumn Trails. And this one is called uh, Pine, uh, Trees Pine Batik. So this, the colorway is pine and the, and the group is Autumn Trails. Now I selected these not because they're all from one collection, but because uh, I selected them from various collections because they just look so darn good and I think Bill has a bit of film that he's going to show either before or after we tape this that gives you the spectrum that, that we, uh, we purchased here for the store. This one is Celebrate Fall. The color is green. So this is your, your uh, maple leaves it looks like and um, nice and lively, super non-directional and I think just a wonderful scale. Next we have autumn trails and these are really pretty tree branches and trunks and this one is called pine and you can see that we're starting to segue away from teal or rather away from olive and into more of a teal green and by the way it's okay to use those together I forget if I did that one or not we're going to move on to this one this one is winter green and the color is fern. So again, all year long, super wonderful. If you happen to put this with Christmas fabric, it would turn into Christmas. If you used it with fall, um, with a fall quilt idea, it would certainly be that. So really, really nice stuff here. Next, we have twigs. So this is a nature boutique and a lovely softer green. Sometimes you need to shade your greens or grade them. And that's a wonderful opportunity to mix so that your green color doesn't always match. If you have a bouquet of flowers or you go out in your garden, every leaf on every plant is not the same shade of green, is it? So you certainly um, can mix them up in your quilts as well. Next, we have Autumn Trails. And this, this color is called Spice. So these really nice pine branches, lots of texture, lots of movement. And you can see we're starting to get bits of, of uh, rust in there. And then we have Celebrate Fall. And this color is Earth. So same idea, the softer green, little bit of taupe, and some orange in there. 
And then we're moving into more of a celery color, a little bit of olive. This is called yarrow. So those little uh, seeds they look like, it's, it's really a nice effect. Now we have branches. Now we're getting into the oranges and reds and rusts. And this is branches. This color is called topaz. Absolutely lovely. And this one, Celebrate Fall, and the color is cider, and it speaks for itself, doesn't it? Really, really beautiful. Celebrate Fall, absolutely gorgeous sunflowers. We've had this same chop in various colors um, in the last season or two, and it's, it seems to be a perennial favorite. Uh, sunflowers mean a lot to us and uh, oh, we, we have them all over lady fingers on the grounds here they're getting ready to bloom pretty soon so this is a beautiful golden shade of the sunflower chop and the color is sunflower next is celebrate fall and this color is called orange spice I am sure we're going to be doing fat quitter bundles and I'm working on a project right now that will incorporate these colors of batiks in a project. Maybe something like, um, if you're familiar with, with our uh, cranberry chutney, we might do something along those lines with these. Next is Trees Spice Batik. So this is also from the Celebrate Fall grouping and the color is spice. Really, really beautiful. Another sunflower. Look how different this is from the one I showed you a few ago. Uh, this, this colorway is called rust. Absolutely beautiful. This is another seed pattern and this is Celebrate Fall and the color is cedar. It's an absolutely gorgeous um, brown and gold uh, coloring, very, very nice and rich. Do that one already. Here's another sunflower. This one is, this color is called persimmon. Rich and beautiful, um, just beautiful fall shades, but it's just nice and earthy, so it, it works at really any time of year. And now we have Celebrate Fall, and this color is Autumn. So nice mix of, of a nice, beautiful, rich, orangey rust with gold and green leaves. Super nice. Autumn Trails, and this color is called Terracotta. So the little pine boughs, and, and they, the way they're, the, the way the art of the way the, uh, the makers chop, you know, use the chops onto the fabric and get the placements just right is amazing. Really, really nice stuff. Autumn trails. And so this is pine boughs and pine cones. Um, and this colorway is called terracotta. And we're coming down the home stretch here. Now we have a kind of a tone on tone pine cones in crimson. Just a beautiful shade of red. Really nice. Now we have a couple dark reds. These are great for adding depth to your quilts. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. They're calling this copper. It's a real gorgeous dark mahogany color uh, and it is the seed motif. And that is from the Celebrate Fall collection. Now we have Autumn Trails. And these are pine boughs. They're very dark and rich. And this colorway is called rust. This one is autumn trails. And now we're getting into a dark wine color. The background is a very, very dark brownish green. Really beautiful and rich. And this one is celebrate fall in le the leaves and they're a nice brown batik with bits of green in them as well. Really pretty. 
and browns, you know, we don't like our the browns to be boring. We like our browns to have some something going on and make them special in our quilts. So this is that seed motif and this color is called nutmeg. And now we have some backgrounds because we can and they're beautiful. This is a soft sagey green and this one is called fresh dew. It is the pine needles motif from Autumn Trails.